say goodbye to relationship problems with this one simple trick that will improve your bond and your connection in no time. It might sound like I'm oversimplifying love, but I'm not. Dating, relationships, marriage, they're all very complex, but it gets a whole lot easier when you start implementing this one simple approach. Hi everyone, Mireille Nicole here, relationship coach for women who want to live their best life. I'm all about guiding you towards your happily ever after and helping you tackle the tough stuff in love with grace and wisdom. I record these videos for you because I want to help you realize that you have so much more power in your current dating life, relationship, or marriage than you think. So the other day I was watching a video from the Gottman Institute about the easiest way to improve your relationship and I wanted to share my own perspective on what they shared in their video. Now I'm not going to argue against what the Gottmans are saying. I mean they have decades and decades of experience researching couples in their love lab. If you don't know already of the Gottmans, John Gottman wrote the book The Seven Principles of Making Marriage Work and they have some gold insights in that book. What he was sharing about in his videos was how paying attention to those small everyday moments in your relationship is really what's going to make the difference in terms of improving your connection, right? So what happens on a day-to-day -day basis when you're in your routine, when, you know, life throws curveballs, and specifically he talks about the bids, bids for attention from your partner. So in other words, I, I like to think about it as taking the bait when your partner is, is indicating maybe using words or using behaviors or certain actions, right? Really paying attention to what your partner is trying to communicate with you. So maybe your partner is frustrated about something and one of the examples or the behaviors or the actions that they share about in the video is, you know, if your partner sighs. Maybe, for example, your partner opens the dishwasher and sees the way that you put the dishes in the dishwasher and, and sighs, right? And is not maybe communicating what they think or what they feel about it, but you have a choice in that moment. You have a choice with that bid in terms of whether or not you're going to take it or whether or not you're going to leave it, right? Take it or leave it. And in his philosophy and in what he shares and the research that he's done, partners will tend to either lean towards or they will lean away or turn towards, turn away, whichever, turn towards, turn away, whichever it is that they use, right? So what do you do in that moment? So leaning towards or turning towards would be, you know, a behavior meant with the intention of getting closer to understanding, get, building that connection, right? Really getting to know your partner and, you know, what's bothering them, what's on their mind and turning away or leaning away from from your partner would be kind of dismissing it, ignoring it, maybe becoming even defensive in that moment. What are you going to choose to do? And that can make or break your relationship long term. It's been said that it's really those small moments that can really determine whether or not a couple is going to head towards divorce or if they're going to stay happily married till, you know, till death do them part. Now, I'm actually not a huge fan of the example of a sigh. I find for that one, that can be kind of like a touchy area area or just a touchy one to address but just think of it right if your partner is you know holds your hand do you you know just you squeeze it tightly in return or are you still holding on to resentment about something that happened in the past and are you just pulling your hand away like what are you doing in that moment I think that's totally correct yet at the same time depending on where you're at that can be very difficult to do right like I mentioned earlier if you're holding on to a lot of resentment in your relationship, maybe you're still struggling um, with things that are happening, you know, in your life or past traumas or things that have happened even in your relationship that haven't really been worked out. Or maybe you feel like you're the one doing all the bids and nothing happens in return. So it's like, why would I keep leaning towards this person who is just not responding? Or maybe you're starting to suspect that he's a narcissist, right? Like, why would you start doing these, paying attention to these everyday moments that are happening in your relationship where it seems like, you know, it's pointless. So in my experience working with women is a lot of times and actually I experienced this myself when I was struggling in my own relationship many years ago is it's often the mindset that can be the hardest part to overcome. So 
just trying to do those small actions, even though they seem really tiny and insignificant and maybe just, you know, asking a question or looking your partner in the eyes. That might sound super easy in principle, but when you have all the, these extra layers to what has happened in your relationship and when your mindset is, you know, your thoughts are a certain way towards your partner in the moment because of what's happened, it can really stop you from, from doing these simple gestures. It can really free you or paralyze you or create a lot of resistance that can be extremely difficult to overcome. So although it sounds easy, all that resistance, all that resentment is going to make it really hard for you to even take a small step. So I want to invite you or encourage you to do this simple trick first, and that is to start looking and observing your thoughts and being a lot more intentional about them. And I would argue that that's a lot easier because you don't have to do anything necessarily physical or anything that requires, you know, it, it requires even less effort and you don't have to worry about your partner's response because sometimes what can really, you know, trip you up, mess you up in doing these small, you know, in accepting these bids for attention is that, you know, you might get thrown off by what your partner is saying, right? There's still that interaction that is just an increased layer of complexity to, to fixing the dynamic in the relationship. So the first thing I would invite you to do is to really start looking at your thoughts. And one of the concepts that I really enjoy is from another relationship expert, the one who wrote the book Communication Miracles for Couples. It's another John. Jonathan Robinson, I believe it is. And he talks about the whole idea of the positive intention and looking to see what the positive intention is behind your partner's actions. So I would invite you in those everyday moments, still we're staying in these small daily moments, to really see what the positive intention might be behind the things that trigger you or make you upset in the relationship that really cause maybe lead to arguments or lead to continuing the buildup of resentment. Because honestly, if your mindset is off and your thoughts are still really negative, even if you do accept those bids for attention, even if you do ask questions and listen and, and pay attention to your partner, you might still be like emanating that vibe of frustration or resentment or annoyance. So I believe the real work starts from within. What you choose to think about or to believe in the moment is a super simple way that you can improve your relationship easily and quickly. Like this video, you'll also want to know these three secrets to creating your dream relationship.